Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. This is Scott Reich of Crime Talk, and we've got a lot on the docket today. First, Robert Kraft fights the release of his alleged sex tape. Does Netflix have a killer problem? A YouTube star is accused of abusing her seven adoptive children, and Barbara Streisand is profoundly sorry. Let's talk about it. Good afternoon, Crime Talk aficionados. Robert Kraft is fighting the release of his alleged sex tape. For those of you who don't know, Robert Kraft, yes, the billionaire owner of the New England Patriots, is accused, along with 24 other individuals, and charged with solicitation of prostitution at the Orchard of Asia Spa in Jupiter, Florida. Now, the tapes would be released to the prosecution. However, the defense is saying that they have not released received a copy of the tapes and therefore they should not be released prematurely to the public. Now, this case did not turn out to be what the police were originally looking for. The police apparently were able to get a warrant to have cameras put into the Asian spa uh, to see what was going on. The alleged masseuse who were trying to provide a happy ending, allegedly, to Mr. Kraft and others, um, in this particular case, were 45 and 58 years old. They were both licensed masseuses in the state of Florida, so it's not exactly the sex trafficking ring that the agents were looking for. Obviously, they were looking for uh, underage individuals or people that were being uh, held against their will to engage in uh, perhaps illegal prostitution. That's usually what those type of investigations uh, begin with and start out as. Now, in this particular case, it's interesting because Mr. Kraft, uh, along with the other men, have been given what they call a, uh, an offer for a deferred prosecution. Because if you're charged, a couple things can happen. You can enter a plea of not guilty, and you can enter a plea of guilty. Or you can be offered a deferred judgment, and rarely is it happen in cases, uh, at least that I'm familiar with, where deferred prosecution is offered. It has to be a really weak case uh, for them to do that. Or in this particular case, there's probably a lot of pressure from a lot of people not to release uh, the information, not to uh, want to drag this case out very long. So. Uh, Mr. Kraft and others have been offered a deferred prosecution, but they would have to admit that there would be a strong likelihood of a conviction. That's basically what they call an Alford plea. I'm not saying I am. I'm not saying I isn't. But a beautiful thing about a deferred prosecution is, is no one ever has to say guilty. All right? You simply take it. You sign the paperwork. Say there's a long strike. There is a strong likelihood of conviction. Happens all the time. Uh, Mr. Kraft's uh, people have made a statement that he would never uh, plead guilty, uh, but in this case, he really wouldn't be. He simply would be saying, hey, there's a risk of trial. Guess what? There's always a risk of trial. Now, who knows what's on this tape? Was this lady just uh, trying to give a, a helping hand, or is Mr. Kraft going to go to court and say that nothing happened? Obviously, if there is a videotape and some of the video is alleged to show the alleged um, prostitute, i.e. masseuse in this particular case, um, as putting her head near Mr. Kraft's genital area. Mr. Kraft, that defense may be a little hard to swallow. By a jury, you may want to take the deferred prosecution. Now, the next thing on the docket is, does Netflix have a killer problem? A lot of people apparently somebody, is concerned that there's too much, basically, true crime uh, stories going on out there, and people are making money and basically exposing the world to, well, what goes on in the world. And some of the top shows that are going on at Netflix, and specifically as it relates to binge-watching, are Making a Murderer and 13 Reason Why, which is a uh, scripted drama focusing on... Uh, uh, the suicide of a teenage uh, girl. And I've watched uh, some of that. It's a little, I wouldn't say disturbing, but it's it's reality. 
And, you know, the problem is there is no problem. The people just don't like that, you know, people are being informed. Yes, it's hard to believe, but in today's world, given the amount of information that we're all exposed to with the access of the internet, yes, there are lots of things out there that people are simply exposed to, but guess what? It has always gone on. It's not going away. Let's face reality and then let's deal with it. So there is a YouTuber by the name of Miss Hobson, and she lives in Arizona. And her daughter actually became quite concerned as to the treatment of some of the other children in the house. Police did a welfare check, and it was determined after speaking with the children that the children were very nervous, shaking, and appeared too scared to answer questions. So apparently the children were... uh, the other four children were not uh, taken uh, for an interview, and uh, but they were ultimately uh, discussions uh, with with the children, and it came out uh, that they get beaten by a belt or a hanger or a brush. Uh, sometimes they would get pepper sprayed uh, from head to toe, and one even made allegations that they she was pepper sprayed in her uh, private areas genitalia, uh, and it. Uh, hurt for days. Now, Miss Hobson has denied the allegations, and we will give her the presumption of innocence uh, regarding this, and she simply stated that she was basically engaging in simple parental discipline, which included nothing more than spanking and making the kids stand in the corner. Uh, Apparently, she would oftentimes uh, punish these children for not remembering their lines or not performing well in her YouTube video channel. What is... um, probably bad for uh, Miss Hobson is that her two other children, um, adult sons, Logan and Ryan Hackney, were also taken into custody. They've obtained attorneys, but apparently they had made statements to the police that they were aware of the children being locked in closets for a long term of punishment and also aware of alleged pepper spray and ice ice bath incidents. And one of them also told the police he observed physical injuries on the children and um, considered reporting the incident uh, previously. Now, there's another YouTuber that apparently Miss Hobson was involved with and the children came to her house. And uh, that is uh, the Schroners, S-H-N-O-R-R-S. And apparently these children appeared, they were well behaved, they didn't seem anything out of the ordinary, and that is... Um, you know, it's always difficult about these type of cases. How do you know if something's wrong? If somebody saw something, they probably would have reported it. Hmm. Sound familiar? Montrose County jury? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right. And the next thing on the docket. Barbara Streisand is profoundly sorry. If you have not heard, Barbara Streisand obviously a friend of the now deceased Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson um, obviously also was acquitted of child sexual abuse charges. And then recently there is a uh, Netflix special called Leaving Neverland where two young boys who are obviously close to Michael Jackson now say that they had been sexually abused and what have you. Miss Barbara Streisand made some statements basically to the effect of, hey, these kids are uh, now married and have their own children. Uh, they're looking for money. And, you know, Michael Jackson had his sexual needs. And um, basically, what's the problem? Barbara Streisand had to go to the uh, internet gulag uh, for some re education and understand that it is never okay to say that it is okay to sexually abuse children. Who would say that, um, uh, you know, even though she knows, knew, even though Barbara Streisand knew Michael Jackson, the fact that she would even consider thinking that would be an appropriate statement is, well, frankly, inappropriate. And we understand Michael Jackson is given the presumption of innocence. He was never uh, convicted of anything. Uh, Some of these children actually testified and said nothing had taken place. And obviously now Michael Jackson is deceased and has no way of defending himself. So 
that is one of those situations where you will have to decide who to believe and also ask yourself, would you want Michael Jackson to watch your children? And would you let your children be watched by Michael Jackson, even if he wasn't Michael Jackson? Just everything else about him was Michael Jackson, but he was just Michael Jackson. You decide. We've talked about it. We appreciate you liking the channel. Please subscribe. Please hit that bell if you like it so you'll get notifications of when we go live of new content that is coming out. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. This has been Scott Reich at Crime Talk.